It's the first day of April. I'm feeling very chatty today. I just went on my Instagram stories and just like talked for far too long, but it's the day after Target. I just did a live with Target. Huge opportunity for March. So let's just like dive into what the heck happened in March. So start of March, I went and saw Batman. That was fabulous. I've done a lot of work on a special project that is coming out in May. So that is coming very soon. I ended up driving to North Carolina and I witnessed the birth of my nephew. And then I spent a week with them, came home. It was my birthday, celebrated my birthday. And then actually like all around the same time, all of this like target work was going on for the target live. So all of that happened and I've been working on my book as you guys saw in the last video, I've got my website, which is gonna be like relaunched and everything. So I've had to do a lot of work behind the scenes on that. What else has been going on? Oh, I planted my garden, not once, but twice because I tried to plant it before my sister went into labor. And then of course, when I was gone, there was snow here in Birmingham and it killed some of my plants. So had to replant some things. That was fun. Otherwise my garden's thriving right now. I had my first little harvest of lettuce the other day and it was fantastic. I've never grown lettuce before, but it's great. I'm loving it. I can't wait for like my spinach to start like really popping off because I want like some spinach, but I actually have like several different kinds of leafy greens out there. So I'm very excited for that. I think that's like kind of it. That's kind of the update on March. March went by incredibly fast, but at the same time, I feel like so much happened in March that I'm like, what even happened at the beginning of the month? Like it's been less than a month that, that I've seen Batman. I feel like I saw Batman three months ago. Like it's just so incredibly wild. So here we are ready to get into April. I'm here, I'm ready for it. I really feel like I am in not necessarily a growth phase within my business, but just in a forward direction with my business and all the things that I'm working on. I'm so incredibly excited. And even just like the opportunity with Target, like that was a huge freaking opportunity, a cool brand to work with. Like I own so much Target stuff and I freaking love Target. So like very cool opportunity with that. And I just feel like we're on this like next chapter of like bigger and better things and continuing to level up. And maybe that's what it is. Like we're just like leveling up. I'm gonna drop you guys down a little bit because when I like sit back then I'm shorter but when I first staged it it was there okay so should we do our March analytics first if we just take a look at the overview month by month what is going on here in March I ended up generating 348,000 views on my YouTube channel and that was with six videos so with my sister going into labor I ended up missing I think I only missed two uploads. Is that right? I did have less videos go live than this month compared to like what is going to happen in future months. February was a shorter month. That's why we had six in February, six in March. My views did go down a little bit. Come on, YouTube. So my views went from 387 to 348,000 views. If we go to watch time, my watch time actually decreased a bit. Wow, okay, down by like 7,000. That's a good bet. In terms of subscribers, this is the small am smallest amount of subscribers I have earned in a month in the last year, which is not surprising as I've changed my content, I have lost a lot of subscribers. So we're gonna get into the nitty gritty of this here in a second. And then in terms of revenue last month, 5,800, this month, 5,400. Now, if I do break this out daily, let's actually start with views. This was when I launched my first video of like my recap of February, sharing my analytics and like what has happened with my rebrand. So that day I got 18,000 views and I wasn't surprised that I saw a peak there because that was more so kind of like my older content. So that made sense. And then this was when I shared how much YouTube paid me. So that again, seeing that spike, I really expected that to happen. And today I'm launching a video sharing how much money I made total in 2021. So I expect a similar spike with that. Otherwise I'm still seeing spikes on the days that I am uploading YouTube videos. But the one thing that I find really interesting is that my older videos, the views are actually decreasing. If I go, well, I mean, we can take a look at this if you guys are interested in this. So just in March, my top video for views was how to start a YouTube channel. Then we've got if I was starting a YouTube channel, how much YouTube paid me. So this is the one video that I launched this month that like ended up causing that one peak, you know, so 23,000 views this month, opening up about 
So that's my February recap video. That one got 20,000 and then how to write a blog post for beginners, 18,000. But what I really wanna do, can we do just like 90 days? I'm curious if this is gonna show. Oh yes, no, that shows. So you can see my top five videos except for this yellow line. What is that? How to write a blog post, okay? The yellow line has stayed pretty consistent, but my top two, if I were starting a YouTube channel and how to start a YouTube channel, obviously they get a ton of views at the beginning of the year. That's very normal for videos like that. And if I break this out, okay, well, we don't wanna see that one video cause that's gonna cause some problems here. So those were the two we were talking about, perfect. This was April of last year, the views. So obviously it did dip a little bit at the, oh wait, this is the end of the year. And then the start of the year, these views ended up increasing because at the start of a new year, people are setting goals and stuff. So that makes sense why YouTube was more so pushing those out and then it's going back down again. But I think one of the big reasons that it is going down is because of the change in my content. YouTube is starting to realize that like this isn't necessarily the content that I'm creating anymore. And why would they continue to push out videos if people that are finding these videos then aren't going to like the videos that I'm creating now, if that makes sense. Let's go to subscribers because I'm curious. Okay, so on days when I wasn't uploading in the beginning, we got like 147 and then we got negative 41. And this is a net, so this is subscribers gained minus subscribers lost, what you're seeing here. So on days when I'm uploading, you see these pretty big dips here. And I expected that with the new content that I'm creating, but I am curious. Okay, so this month I ended up gaining 8,355 new subscribers, but I lost 4,887 subscribers. So I think that's pretty comparable to last month, right? I think I lost like about 4,000, 5,000 subscribers last month. So it's always interesting to see like this video, I lost 53 subscribers. I'm like, why that video is so old? Like I'm curious why that lost subscribers. If we see, okay, so this video, how much YouTube paid me that was launched this month. I gained 120 subscribers. I lost 46 subscribers. Otherwise, all of these are pretty old. Oh, this one opening up about my rebrand. Okay, so 46 subscribers gained. I lost 134 subscribers. Taking myself on a date so that was going to see Batman. I lost 104 subscribers. That's not surprising, but honestly, like these videos are still gaining subscribers for me. So it's like the right people are finding my content and the people that aren't interested in my content anymore are leaving. And I'm happy about that. Like if this is the direction that I'm gonna go with my brand, I would rather people unsubscribe subscribe and then have the right people be able to find me. If we go to my revenue earned, this aligns pretty hand in hand with my views. So like really what's like peaking there, like you can obviously see. So when I launched that February recap video, I made $326 just in that one day. And then this was the one talking about ads revenue of $381 that day. That was a pretty high peak for me. We got $240 here and then at $237 here. So I should say that this ads revenue is actually going to increase by let's say like maybe 150 maybe, cause this is dipping down to hundred. So I'm not sure what my ads revenue is going to be like on the 31st, but this is only until the 30th. So it will increase a little bit more. Let's say I made like 5,500 some dollars this month. If we move over to content, I wanna do the same thing that we did last month. So in terms of the videos that I uploaded this month, We'll start here. This video ended up generating 20,000 views, 376 comments, and this actually has the worst in terms of the likes and dislikes ratio out of all of the videos that I've uploaded recently, and 96% is not normal for me. It ended up receiving 46 dislikes, but more importantly, it ended up generating 131, I can't talk, 1,355 likes. Then we moved to my morning routine video. This was actually what I'm gonna call my worst performing video because this one's only been live for three days. So it hasn't had as much time as this one to really perform. This one ended up generating a little less than 11,000 views, 200 comments, and then 810 likes, 23 dislikes. We've got me living my single life, taking myself on a date, doing all of that stuff. 12,000 views, 151 comments, and we've got 97% of the ratio for likes and dislikes. When it comes to my vlogs, I'm shocked 
how well they're still doing if I'm just looking at views. If I'm thinking about the comments and stuff, I spent a good chunk of time this morning just responding to comments, like whatever was newest in my comment section. And the response I've been getting from my content recently has been absolutely amazing. And I'm just so incredibly grateful that you guys are really enjoying this content. It's just like been very heartwarming for me. And really that means so much more than the views. I will say like, because I was so used to my vlog channel and those views were around like 5,000 a video, like 4,000 a video. I expected when I started to upload vlogs over here, I thought it was going to be the same. I was fully ready for my views to go down to that level unless I was uploading something similar to like opening up about my rebrand, how it affected me or like my ads revenue. Like I expected my views to peak on those, but otherwise getting 10,000, 12,000 views per vlog, like I'm so glad that you guys are liking the vlogs, that you're watching the vlogs and the comments have just been amazing. I read a comment this morning from someone being like, watching your personality a year ago to your personality today, like it's so totally different and I love seeing this change within you and I just feel so much more comfortable on this channel being myself compared to before I felt like I had to be perfect and everything had to be perfectly edited and I just like had to say the right things and if I didn't say the right things then I would repeat myself over and over and over again until I got the takes right. I just felt like I was trying too hard and that's not who I am. Like if you hang out with me, like that's just like not who I am. And I just like really wanted that change here on this channel. And I think honestly, like based off of your guys' responses and like your comments and stuff, I think you guys are liking it and I'm glad that you're liking it because I'm having a lot more fun with my content now. Anyways, let's get back to the like stats here. The next video, how much YouTube paid me in 2021. This one ended up generating 23,000 views, 548 likes or not likes. Wow. 548 comments. So this one got the most comments out of any of the videos that I uploaded in March and a 98.9% .9 like to dislike ratio. So we've got 2,500 likes compared to 28 dislikes there. And I think, yeah, that's the most likes I got on any video this month. So I'm glad that you guys really liked that. Honestly, I love talking about money and I love talking about business and that's not going anywhere. It's just like, I need, I need a mix of both. I absolutely do. Okay, I don't always have my life together vlog. This one got 13,000 views, 294 comments, and then we got 1,000 likes, 24 dislikes. Celebrating my birthday, this one has only had three days to perform, like I told you guys. So it's got 8,000 views, 302 comments. Thank you guys so much for all the birthday wishes and stuff. That's what like a lot of the comments were. And then 768 likes. That is it for the March content, my March analytics. I am just like incredibly happy with the content that I'm producing recently. I'm having so much fun with it and you guys, I feel like can tell. So in terms of April goals, what I've got going on in April, April, I really don't have too, too many plans, which is great. I just like want to be very selfish this month. I know that's my word of the year, but this past month, I, I mean, I was selfish going to visit my sister, but even then it was like my timeline wasn't really mine. And then like the target opportunity came up and it was just like, I couldn't pour as much into myself as I wanted to. And I was still doing some deep work, like work that absolutely needs to be done within myself, like personal development work, not like work work. But then I was also doing work work because I've been like hustling like crazy with my brand. So this month, I just want to make sure again, I'm prioritizing myself. And one of the reasons why like I love doing this video is because this is like a check on myself being like every month, Catherine, <laughs> how we doing? Are we being selfish? Are we doing the things that we need to do? And I know this past month, like I wasn't working out my minimum four times a week for 30 hours a day, which 30 hours a day, Catherine, 30 minutes a day. But I don't call my, you know, what's with fancy and exercise. I just like, like to include that as like an active lifestyle for myself. So if I include that, like, yes, I was doing it, but I don't include that. I include like actually going to the gym, doing workout classes, going to yoga classes and stuff like that. So I did not hold true to that in March. And I for sure want to do that in April because I felt so good when I was on a really good routine within the gym. It just helps my mental health a lot. And yeah, goals for April. If you guys watched my last video, okay, I need 10 new chapters written for my book. And that's a huge goal. Like that's gonna take a lot of my time. Oh wait, my dad just butt down me. That's cool. I'm wondering if it should be something on the lines of, 
you know what? I know exactly what it should be. And this is not necessarily a goal, but this is just like a task, something that I need to do. And it's prioritizing my overall health. I like told myself in January that I was going to schedule doctor's appointments and everything. And then I just like never did. I actually scheduled a dentist appointment. Funny enough, I scheduled a dentist appointment and then I ended up getting, you know what? And I couldn't go to the dentist for obvious reasons. So I need to reschedule my dentist appointment. I need to schedule an eye appointment and I need to go to like my general physician and all of that stuff. So you know what? We're gonna, that's gonna be one of my goals. Good. And if I put it on here, this is gonna like hold me accountable to actually doing it, which is great. And I think, do I wanna just like stick to those two? I'm also getting my railings done this month, you guys. So that's very exciting. Website work is starting this month. So that's very exciting. And I just have like other things behind the scenes that I'm like working on that I almost don't want to necessarily set too many goals because like my primary goal is for sure going to be writing 10 new chapters. If you guys want to let me know what your April goals are, what you really want to focus on this month, let me know. I know my one goal that I set in March was to find a yoga instructor that I really liked and I didn't go to as many yoga classes as I would have loved. So. I almost, hold on, wait, go to two work out classes a week. That's actually gonna be a new goal for me because I usually go to one workout class a week, but if I have myself go to two a week, that's an hour long workout class, depending on what class I choose. And then I can also do yoga and I can continue to work towards that goal that I set last month, just continuing it on forward. Yeah, that's my thought process there, okay. That's gonna be it for this video. I'm actually 10 minutes late to responding to comments on a new video. So let me know what you guys' April goals are. Let me know how you guys are doing in terms of your goals. I mean, we're already a quarter of the way into the year. Bless you, little baby girl. Yeah, I need to stop talking. <laughs> Bye, guys.